we're at a moment in time where we really kind of need to take on some change in some wholehearted way. And I'm not quite sure that existing structures, um, adults who have been working on within the world for, the, for a number of years, they've already gotten used to, they have their own kind of status quo, they have their own patterns that they've adjusted to. So how young folks come into that is really critical. And making sure in however our own small ways are that, that um, the next generation is open to creating new discoveries that are ecologically based and sound, I think is really relevant. Design, which whatever program one takes, really gives you the tools for looking at the world in a different way. And then applying that in some, um, um, through, through graphic means that allow other people to envision it as, as well. And that's important, that if we don't transform what we're doing um, by envisioning change, we won't change our own existing parameters. And we need to help each other envision a new world. What's interesting about a studio course is they're, they're kind of, there's a long history of them within architecture and landscape architecture, urban design, but at UVM we look at it in terms of um, practical, applied problem solving, and so students get very involved in a specific project, they're usually um, community projects, and they get to design and draw and research and do a lot of investigation, but the final product is a visual communications project. I've never taken an art class, even in high school, I had never taken an art class, so that was really interesting for me to because she kind of gave us a different perspective on how to look at things and I learned how to draw and and how to kind of communicate what I was seeing on paper which is, you don't really learn how to do. Every class we have a, a visual assignment due so I'm drafting every week and working ideas and our we have a, a sketchbook that we're continually working in and reworking ideas and drafting them out and then we make bigger versions of those sketches and present them to the class and my favorite part about studio classes is the imagery element of it, being able to uh, produce my thoughts in, in a way that's visual, in a way that's um, symbolic, um, in a way that represents the real world in a little small sense of it. So right now in this, this semester, um, the studio is looking at um, part of the railroad and southern end of Burlington and there's a zone that's an EPA Superfund site called the Barge Canal where a hundred plus years ago barges came in and turned around offloaded material and then went back out into the lake. So we're looking at what the wetlands are contributing to that reclamation currently and where there's some fallow land the city is interested in some micro um, economic zone and meeting with community members to try to pull together a coherent plan that addresses some of the current issues. This class was interesting because we kind of looked at this space not just as like what can we what can we put in this area to like fill it up it was and we looked at every aspect, transportation, recreation, housing, and we looked at past projects. We looked at a design charrette that, that the Burlington community did for what they wanted to see in this site and also what Burlington as a city, as a sustainable city, wants in this area. I think it really relates to the real world in that way when you're presenting ideas to people who are potentially funding the project or you have to convince them that your way of seeing it is going to enhance the overall sustainability of a project or is going to increase the efficiency of a project or is going to bring more community awareness or ecological literacy to a project that you really have to be able to stand behind that and be able to talk about it and be really have all the different uh, ways of thinking about it thought through and I think that doing that in a studio class 
really allows you to develop all those different thoughts around that. I think at some level it empowers them to know that when they graduate that they can actually make a difference in whatever field they end up in or whatever community they live in and that so it's it's more than just doing a project it's actually learning how to be responsible and think about the rest of the world and, and that applied nature of, of design problems. We all come from completely different areas of study so we all have very different understandings of the world and it's interesting. It's not like people are going to be like, well, that's, that's not right. That doesn't make any sense. It's always, well, did you think about how this would affect this? Or did you, did you consider putting this there? Or it's all, it's all very constructive. It, like, I don't think you would call yourself an ecological designer. I think it's an idea that you bring to whatever you do. And I mean, whatever I do, I'm always going to have these values and these, these ideas to drive, drive me in whatever I decide to do with my life, which is really important to me. If students gain uh, design as a tool for changing the world, that would be great. If, they, if, they learn, if they're empowered through the process of taking on a community project, even if fundamentally it's not a great project, but they're empowered that then they know that yes, that is a bit available to them as a human being to care about their environment. That's important. And some people are better at research, some people are better at drawing, some people are better at big picture, some people are better at details. It takes all of us. And I think that's what I'm interested in, both as an educator as well as in my own design work, is how can we build a more holistic way of approaching um, the world that we live in so that at the end of the day it is much more sustainable and that we're not continuing to do old school practices. And within that I see how we understand the web of life as critical and while that's an ecological design notion it's also um, a design notion that, that we need to think of in terms of how we live within the context of, of Earth.